Today's video is to sand these door panels. Here as well too, we need to knock this down for a little bit. Your boy is really mad at himself, man. I do this to myself every single build, guys. Every single build. What is up, guys, man? It is like 8, 10 in the morning. Correction, it is 8, 08 in the morning. It's a little bit gloomier outside right now. It was raining just probably like 15, 20 minutes ago. And the plan for today's video is to sand these door much, panels. I want to say like 85%, maybe 75% uh, have these guys sanded down. I have my dirt glass mixed with a body filler. I oh, mean, this is premium stuff right here, guys. Just this mix alone, guys, I think I ended up paying, I think, like 30 bucks. But it's a custom mix that my dad got me. So it's a mixture of Dura Glass and another body filler. Uh, my dad got it for me. He actually works at Yellowfin Boats. Uh, and it's very easy to sand. And, you know, it's the best Bondo on the market. Given the fact that it's still like eight, not even 8.30 in the morning, it's still pretty early to start sanding and letting the compressor run and the grinder and all that stuff. I'm gonna probably come out like around, I wanna say like, mm, like 9, 9.30, start setting everything up and then start getting on the grind by 10 because I think by like two or three o'clock, you know, the rain's gonna come because we have a cold, cold front coming in in Florida. So we're pretty much gonna see what happens here in a little bit. I'm gonna put the tent up. Uh, even if it starts drizzling a little bit, man, we're still gonna keep sanding because we're underneath the tent. So man, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, man. Let's get set up. Man, let's get on the grind, literally. As you can see, we got the door panels right there. I do have my smaller compressor. My bigger compressor does work, but the uh, regulator or something's messed up with it, so I can't even use it. And I feel that the smaller one puts in more work than the other one because it has more horsepower. I have quite a bit of mess going on right here, so I'm gonna put the actual door panels uh, on the stand that we're gonna be working on. You know, as I get these door panels, if we should get back to doing daily vlogs again, like I used to do, I think that I'm back in my rhythm, so I think it wouldn't be an issue, but just let me know in the comments what you guys think. The door panels came out pretty, pretty fire. I'm not even gonna lie. These things are solid, guys. Like that thing is nice and solid, hard. That's good enough for door panels. Like I said, this is not a subwoofer box, nor it needs to be that strong. Only thing that does have to be a little bit sturdier is this horn right here. So what I actually did was I actually put fiberglass resin on the inside, so this thing is nice and solid, guys. Man, this is pretty badass and no fiberglass mat whatsoever and that's pretty good and that was the whole purpose of doing multiple coats just like one of the comments in the video when i dropped the fiberglass on these things um the very first coat is the most important one because that's going to be the foundation and good thing i actually did the second coat when it was actually semi damp and not extremely wet uh for it just to grab a little bit better nah you know fucked up you know that don't you so your boy is really mad at himself man i actually thought i had another grinding disc but look at this thing this thing is about done for, man. This is a very sad moment. This is actually gonna delay me at least. This is actually pretty good because it's still rather early and we still probably got 45 minutes to kill. Let me head out real quick. Let me get what I need to get and I'm gonna come back, turn the camera back on, man, and we're gonna get to the grind, literally. A few moments later. I just came to Ace Hardware, guys, and let me tell you how expensive stuff is in here. I'm not even trying to be like cheap. I'd rather take the 15, 20 minutes that I'm gonna take going to harbor freights and buy their grinding discs that i think are like 2.99 maybe 3.99 for the price of one at the ace hardware i could probably buy three and that would actually get the whole job done so let's drive like 15 minutes out into the other city and go get the grinding disc and then come back so it is 10 11 i'm trying to be back at the house by 11 o'clock man it is 78 degrees outside guys and it feels you know pretty badass for it being florida I just cut my hair yesterday. Well, anyways, so we made it to Harbor Freights already. Man, let's go inside and I guarantee you they're gonna have what we're looking for for like two or three bucks. All right, so we just made it down here and they do have the this what I was looking for. So they got $10 ones and they got $6 ones. And then they have the 4.99 ones. Okay, so they do have 38 grit. They got 60 grit, 80 grit. 
I could easily just do 36 grit to knock down pretty much a lot of the rough surface but I feel like that will create a little bit more work for me because since I am using the Makita grinder which almost looks like this um, if I do 80 grit that's actually gonna um, speed up the process for me and just start leaving it as smooth as possible so if I do 80 grit with the speed of the Makita it's gonna lock, knock down a lot of that rough surface um, so then I can actually just come back my DA sander with 36 or 40 grit sandpaper smooth all that rough sandiness off that was made with the Makita grinder and start applying um, filler in it and then once again use the 80 grit on the Makita grinder just to knock off the rough surface then come back with the DA and smooth it out I think I'm gonna actually probably just grab like three of these guys I think that should be pretty good enough uh, one to knock off the one to knock off the roughness from each door and then one just to start smoothing it out and then an extra one because sometimes they do uh, when you put a lot of work in them it knocks off these uh, sanding grits and then you know it messes up but it's always good to have an extra one all right so i got what i needed and for cheaper the price and yeah i was not about to pay no 13 15 dollars for just one sanding this one i just paid like 14 bucks for these three all right so let me teleport back to the crib and i'm gonna catch you in the backyard in one two three okay so it is like 11 10 right now and we're gonna see how much work we get done till two o'clock just because i know it's gonna start raining and the last thing we want is to get our panels wet or get ourselves wet so we don't risk getting sick because i do have asthma and this is the time of season when your boy tends to get sick and the last thing i want right now that i feel that i'm on roll is to get sick now sit back and watch guys i'm not promising i'm going to get them done completely today but we are going to get a little bit ahead just because it's going to rain around like two three o'clock and it's our first day of sanding and we don't want to overwork ourselves.
right, not too bad, not too bad. From what it was looking like a few minutes ago, this is right now, man, this door panel is looking good. We have key areas where we need to work on, which is this one right here. I feel a little dip or a strong dip, but we got the dirt glass that's gonna fill that in, nice and solid. Here as well too, we need to knock this down a little bit more, and then we need to fill it in with dirt glass nice and smooth, and you're never gonna fill in that. these portions in, so it's real nice, uh, smooth slope, I guess if that's what you wanna call it. Real nice roundovers on the rings itself, so they have nice uh, curvature. I'd say pretty much the door panels would be ready to wrap, but we still got a little bit of work to do. But I actually did for that door panel right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that to this door panel. Then we can start mixing up some uh, filler. I'll fill in the heavy spots first. Uh, sand it down with the DA with 80 grit sandpaper. So you see it wasn't worth it buying that $12 sanding disc when it was going to get like that in a matter of like 20 minutes. Well, the $3 ones that we just bought at, for $3, we just got both of our door panels sanded down roughly. Once I get done doing the detail work with the Makita grinder, I'm going to go ahead and use my DA sander and just skim it through with 36 grit just to knock everything down. So this is actually 80 grit right here. And when I go back down to 36 grit, it's going to try to like combine them together and just meet in the middle. So it's somewhat smooth, but not perfect. Then after that, we can start filling this guy in with the filler. A few moments later. I do this to myself every single build, guys. Every single Whenever build. I take a build in, guys, I pretty much um, come up with the whole total of whatever the build's gonna be. Uh, materials, labor, yada yada. I always pretty much ask for whatever it is, the products that I'm putting in the truck, and all the material, and then maybe like a few extra dollars for labor, um, just cause you know, like, 
after I spent all the money, you know, who wouldn't like a few extra bucks in their pocket to buy a little cheeseburger here and there while you're working on, you know, the project. See, whenever I drop the videos and I go shopping, I buy everything that I need to build a door panel. So when I actually went ahead and started sanding these doors, and when I actually went to go um, look for the sanding disc, stuff like, I know I bought them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always buy everything just because um, I don't like stopping and going to buy stuff like I did this morning. And so just right now, behind the camera, for, uh, you know, a cardboard box laying around that, you know, look at this, JL Audio, guys. That's how crazy it is. This box is probably old. Um, so I went to go look for a cardboard box uh, so I can start mixing the Bondo up. And I was going to slice that part off right there, but I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look around real quick. And I'm looking and I'm looking. And I'm like, okay, this box right here has just been sitting here for a little bit. Let me go ahead and see what's in it. And so I can just throw everything out. So, you know, I have my fiberglass mat, you know, maybe some paint brushes. And I looked inside this bag and then look at it. The pads. The pads. And these are 120 and these are actually what I was thinking in my head to go buy. And look, there's three of them. So there's a 36 grit that I could have knocked everything off. Then another 36 grit. And then 120, that one would be good to smooth everything out. And then I have air saw blades for the metal. And let's see what else is in here. Look, and I was gonna go buy a new Bondo uh, hardener, uh, cream hardener. And look, I have a brand new one in here that I, that I probably bought and just some rings and some tape and that is crazy guys you see i believe i actually did that guys i'm not even much playing i'm gonna mix up some uh bondo very very lightly and just like skim the whole door panel very faint just very faint just so i got coverage on the whole door panel as you can see uh it is green and white so the white is actually like a special mix that my dad makes um and then the green is actually dirt glass which is like the best filler that you could possibly get the sun's fixing to come out very nice day very very nice sunny day for the bondo so it is going to work against us or with us
There is barely any filler on there guys, so it's gonna be so easy to sand, it's ridiculous. I am a very lazy person, so the least amount of work that I can create for myself, the better. Clouds are coming in heavy guys, you see it? What did I just tell you? In Florida, it's sunny one second, and then the next second, guess what? That rain is coming. So I can already hear raindrops on my tent. So I think I'm just gonna pretty much just come to a stopping point today. We actually did good progress today. I know some people that sand both panels and man, they just create a full nightmare of it. Um, it's not enjoyable. I don't enjoy sanding, but I do like it at the same time, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So if you guys are watching this video Thursday, just know by Saturday, the door panels are already sanded and I'm at Slamfest. And you're probably gonna watch the video of these door panels already uh, sanded down, man. So if you guys are in the Tampa Bay area, go to the Florida State Fairgrounds, meet me at Slamfest. I will be there from like 9.30 to like four. Uh, catch a demo. I got a couple things to do on the Silverado just to buckle it up. And then, you know, we'll catch you then. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.